These are fried pig's nipples. <laughs> can, you see, can you see that? Is... <laughs> Do you consider yourself a TV chef? Uh, not really, no. No, no, I'm a proper chef. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but, uh, he, he doesn't... You don't sit there much demonstrating recipes. Yeah, you know, I cook live every day, so sometimes when we see these TV chefs and they sort of turn around and, look, here's one I made earlier, or, you know, welcome to Ready, Steady, <laughs> Um, <laughs> the contestants here, uh, you're going to be feeding us throughout the evening. Okay. Now, it looks like if it is little oranges, I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> take, go on, take. So it's I'm a mandarin there. orange with meaty goo inside. <laughs> Sounds really nice, Aston. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, no, we shouldn't have to dare each other to eat your food. <laughs> Restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> it's got three Michelin stars that we're going, you first. <laughs> <laughs> that is chicken liver. Really nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God cooking found you, Delia. But up until that point in your life, it hadn't been going that well. No, not at all. No. But then, happily, you found modelling. And, no, uh, I did not. You, oh, I you did not. She was hugely successful career as a model. Come Massively. on, you did. Come on, I worked in a travel agency and they took one picture. <laughs> <laughs> it was a whole photo shoot. And I know you've got the picture. We do. I know. <laughs> this is Delia as a swimwear model. Mmm. There she Whoa. is. Wow. Now, I'm guessing that's you, yeah. is it? The beehive. Yeah. You look ah. fabulous. Whoa, look at you. Nice. I'm hey, almost not lady. gay anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but now, so all these ladies, they worked in the travel agent? Yeah, they were just people who worked in the travel agency and, you know, they couldn't afford to do proper smart advertising, so we all got together and... But you look fab... I mean, I would say, I think that lady had too many cups of coffee. <laughs> Before. She was always a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you think that Mary butter wouldn't melt, but she has been a vandal, quite a, an ex like yeah. bad listen, vandal. Listen, I got her this arrested. Is bad. I actually got her arrested. Um, what it was, I, we were doing. Um, you don't know. <laughs> what happened was, I was. Uh, we we're at the Birmingham NEC. We just finished doing a demo, and I was staying on to do a, a book signing. Now Mary left, and she walked past my car. I then came Which is a out. very posh car. It, yeah, it's a nice car. Yeah. And so she came out, uh, left, as she did. I came out uh, with the security and he said, oh, have you seen what's on your car? And I went, what do you mean, what's on my car? Go and have a look at your car. And on the sill of the window, she'd signed, Love Mary, with a Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Well, you can see. <laughs> um, the police officer who was with me turned around and said, do you want to, do you want to arrest her for criminal damage? I went, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, I said, can we leave it 12 months, please? So the following year, <laughs> we were at the NEC, uh, and I saw the same police officer, and I said, listen, we're going on stage in a minute. If you'd like to come on and arrest her, I think you'd better bring four lads. She might get a bit feisty. <laughs> so I, I went on stage, and I said, and then the police officers came in, and they actually handcuffed her and walked, marched her off the stage. <laughs> books. I'm dyslexic, so I have quite a relationship with the books and how I put them together and uh, numbers and um, words. And then there were certain words that didn't quite work in the culinary situation. So it's, I basically banned words. And then I made the whole editorial team agree and sign to never, ever. But now, some of them I understand, but there's a list of them. This is the list of the banned words. Now, moist, I know, <laughs> I know what you mean, but some things, some recipes yes. should be moist. They all have reason. I'm not sure you... I mean, do you ever need crevice? No, crevice. <laughs> well, yeah, because if you're stuffing, like, a shoulder of lamb and you want to really get it into the crevice, <laughs> you say crevice, but crevice and dinner doesn't really work, as does rimming. And rimming is... <laughs> rimming, rimming is really important in pastry work. Is it? You're, yeah, because you have to give it a good rimming to, to get the pastry, and then you bake it... We're in it. Blackpool again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my! <laughs> Sometimes I look at a recipe, you know, and there are, there are delicious things there, like pulled pork and the tequila lime chicken, mm. and I think, oh, I could do all that, I could do that. But then, often, when you look at the pictures in yeah. cookbooks, you kind of think, mine will not look like no, that. It will not look like that. <laughs> but even I, I think, could produce that. <laughs> <laughs> that was, do you know what we had? We, we, I look at that 
I was really, I think I opened the book on that page. I was like, really? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. It was too big a white space, and we were really running out of time. And we couldn't, couldn't do another whole food photograph, so I, I've got some sweet potatoes I've roasted. <laughs> I tell you why I like that. One, because I don't. I mean, anyway, it's aspirational for me. Anyway, I don't like food that's been that's faked up. I won't. I, nothing is faked mm. when I do it. But also, for example, I use a throwaway foil tin to roast things in. Mm -hmm. So it's more or less saying like, oh, this is how, this is how normal people cook. Mm -hmm. It yes. doesn't have to be that fancy. And you know, there are brown bits coming out of the potatoes. Well, that's what happens too. Yeah. You can see a lot in some of those recipes that <laughs> maybe you know. There's some things, it's not at its mm. best, but they're such beautiful photographs. But they're gorgeous. They're photographs yeah. of real food. I was baking quite a lot, and um, it was during Bake Off, and um, my poor oven was on overdrive anyway, and it just it was making a funny noise. I tried to ignore it, and then I just kind of went down, and it was pastry week, and I was making volivants, and the pastry was really delicate, and it was finally working after about 12 goes, and then the oven door blew off. Just... just <laughs> Boom! Out into my and, and you know how when a kid is about to fall, when your child is about to fall, you just go to save it. That's how I felt about my pastry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, save the pastry! And I kind of lunged and I grabbed the oven door and Ow. it was boiling hot. Ow. And so then kind of it slid down my chocolate melted skin. Ow. And then it was just kind of a bit bloody. And it was a bank holiday. I'd blown the head gasket on the car. So I was just sat there and I just, I remember just bleeding and very burnt. And I just said, my pastry. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. But uh, then you yeah. won and it was all and fine. It, was okay. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it took the pain away. All the pain away. Yeah. <laughs> very good. And are there things we can't eat? Yes. Apparently, you cannot eat the liver of a polar bear. Because you will die of vitamin A poisoning. Remember that, Too everyone. Much vitamin A. <laughs> <laughs> I would also say there's something that I couldn't eat. I went to Iceland, not the family famous freezer no. store. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he does a range there. Don't <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> sack a pig nipple. <laughs> <laughs> they have this thing called scatter, it's skate, it's a fl flatfish. Sure. And there's two ways they prepare it either they can urinate on it and put it in a bag, or they put it in a bag and let it get warm and ferment. So the, the ammonia builds up, and the who, build who's up... Who's urinating on it? This yeah. is Vikings. The Vikings. Vikings. So, it's, so one order of Viking urine and skate. <laughs> what are you Viking, you Viking you, urine? You could, oh, cook, you could cook fish by pissing on I it. Eat this now. <laughs> what happens is the ammonia builds up and stops the flesh from decomposing. But it has a very, very unbelievably strong taste of ammonia. I, I would say believably strong taste. I, I, <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> when I was a kid, every time I went into the sea, I was probably cooking fish for about. The good things in lockdown is people have been able to uh, send you pictures of their cooking, <laughs> and basically they send Gordon pictures of their cooking in the hopes that he'll sort of online shout at them. <laughs> so, uh, for instance, here's an example. Someone said, uh, pretty sure this is the best poached egg in a noodle soup you'll see all day. <laughs> Gordon replied, looks like toxic scum in a stagnant pool. <laughs> 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 they punched the air when they got that. <laughs> well, anyway, some of our virtual audience, what they've done is they've sent us pictures of their latest uh, kitchen creations. So, uh, Gordon, we'd like you to give them just a little verbal one-liner. Graham. One but, but be as cool as you like. Be as, that's what they want. That's what they want. OK, first of all, Paula Booth. Where's Paula? Is she going to zoom Hi. out to us? Oh, there's Paula. Lovely. Uh, this is what Paula's made. Paula made haggis nachos. <laughs> <laughs> haggis nachos, come on. You've managed to piss off the Mexicans and the Scots in one dish. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Congratulations, Paula. Well done. Uh, Rachel Tyndall. Let's see if we can find Rachel Tyndall. Oh, there she is. Hello. Hi, Rachel. Hi. 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 She's busy booking minicabs, but quickly, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> the... She's, oh, she's baked a Victoria sponge. Victoria sponge? No, 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 Rach, I can see two puddings there. There's a Victoria sponge and a large spotty dick. <laughs> <laughs> you were tempting fate with that. Uh, oh, well done, Victoria. OK, who's up next? Inga Linklater. Where's Inga? Oh, hello, Inga. Hi, Inga. Inga, it says here, has created a baked Alaska. See what you think, Gordon. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
Sugar baked Alaska, no, it's like you've cremated it. <laughs> the saving grace is it looks like there's a reef there, so ashes to ashes, <laughs> egg whites to egg whites, you donut. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> well done. <laughs> and finally, uh, Herman, Herman uh, Steenstein. Oh, there you are, hi. Wow. <laughs> are you in South Africa now? Yes, we are, yeah. Oh, wow. excellent. And you've created a sausage braai, the traditional South African sausage braai. There you go. Feast your eyes on that, Gordon. No offence, but it looks like you've just curled one out on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> Flush it down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs>